Do y'all need an easy supper that your kids are just going to love? Well, we're going to make it here today at At Home with Miss Joan. We're going to make what's called a taco pie. I call it a Frito pie because we put Frito in ours. But what you do is you scramble you up a pound of hamburger meat, which I've already done that to save time. And then you pour a pack of taco seasoning into it. And I also had a little bit of onion in my meat. But onion scrambled in with my meat, taco seasoning. And then you put... Oh, anywhere from a fourth to a half a cup of water in it. Let it simmer for five minutes and you get this right here, just like you're gonna make regular tacos. You take a regular nine inch pie shell, unbaked. We're gonna fill it up with all this good stuff, okay? And the first thing we do, I've got two cups of crushed Fritos. Now, if you wanted to, you could crush you up some Doritos or whatever you got that's crunchy. You can put that in the bottom of it, okay? But anyway, in this, we're gonna put the pie shell, and the first thing that we're going to add is crushed Fritos. You just make sure they get all round. Okay, and to that, we're going to now layer in our meat mixture. Woo -hoo. Now this right here, too, you could make these ahead and freeze them. Get them out, pop them in the oven. All right, that's a whole pound right there of meat that I'm putting in this one. Now, to that, I'm going to cover it with a cup of sour cream. Now, this is a two-cup container, so we'll put half of this in there. Now, don't start thinking, I don't like sour cream. When this all cooks in together, you're going to like it, okay? Or you let me know if you try it and you didn't like it. But it's so good. Kind of reminds me of a ice in a cake or a pie. But anyway, we're just going to cover it all with some sour cream. Because we want every bite of this to have some of the goodness in it. All right? There we went. Now we're going to add what we all love to is cheese. We're going to put a cup of cheese on top of it. I usually hold my hand so I can get cheese all the way to the edges, or coconut, or whatever I'm working with. I make a little shield with my hand. Kind of seems like it helps. After we've done our cheese, we got one more a cup of these crushed Fritos put on top. Woo wee Yum, yum, yum. Preacher loves Fritos. <laughs> That's his favorite corn chip, is the, just the basic Fritos. But like I said, on this taco pie, you can't call it a Frito pie. You can put your crushed Doritos or whatever you got in your cabinet. That's what's so good about it. Just use whatever you got in your cabinet. Now, we're going to take this pie. It turned out pretty. We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven. And I'll get back with you and tell you how long it took it to cook. Gonna get all this stuff to meld in together and it is going to be delicious. Here it is, y'all. I cut out a piece to see the crunchy Fritos on the top and uh, it cooked uh, 30 minutes. So anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes to let all your cheese and everything melt good. And I hope that you, oh yes, and I've got a salad on the side. That's what we're gonna have. And that's my homemade Thousand Island dressing on the top. You can look that up because it's on the channel. But this is what we're going to enjoy tonight for supper is taco pie, also known as Frito pie. We learned this today at At Home with Miss Joan. At Home with Miss Joan, would you like, you know, whether you like it or not, okay? At Home with Miss Joan, please subscribe. Sure does help this old girl's channel grow. Comment right here and you'll hear back from me. You know, preacher, get back with you, my daughter, me. Somebody will run here from at home with Miss Joan. Woo! Y'all check these videos out, okay?